So this kind of states the obvious question, well, why test your soil? I hear a lot of people doing it. Um, you know, it's advised by a lot of um, agriculturists and consultants. So well, just why should I test my soil? It's something just to ask. So it could be simply you just don't know about the area. It could be a new site. It could be a new field. It could be new soil. Uh, it could be something you're looking at testing or screening. And um, this may help you develop a baseline to work from. And just kind of looking at a field, looking at an area, everything may look the same. There could be a lot of underlying question marks here. Uh, just what is the pH? What are the nutrient levels? Um, so this is one reason why you would test your soil, just to learn about it. What you can go beyond just visual. Uh, you could have a problem area. So if you're attempting to use this as a diagnostic tool, you could use uh, sample the normal area separately and that can act as an area of comparison. So I have the picture here of the, the little uh, barn. Well, I notice here is a nice consistent green. I'm noticing in this area a much lighter coloration. It continues into a couple pockets here. So I may want to go through and sample this area differently than this area to see if this is a real problem area related to the soil. Or it could be drainage, it could be other things, but that could be another reason why you're looking at soil testing is investigating a problem area. You could also recheck an area. So if you had an area that was kind of bad, was a problem area, uh, keep the original test with your records and the additions that you added, and then retest is a great way to determine the trend of your soil. Are you getting to that fair, or hopefully that better or improved, or that, those good conditions here? However, the timing of your recheck is important. Be sure to allow time for adjustments to have time to be incorporated. So for example, if you notice your pH is low and you add lime, don't go out the next day and test your soil takes a while for that lime to kind of activate and adjust that pH range. Um, so if you do retest it the you know, day after, a week after, uh, that might give you a false reading. For some nutrients, especially and for pH changes, if using lime, you want to be careful and allow time for that to sufficiently break down, retest, and then you'll get a more accurate comparison. Uh, lastly, uh, you could test your soil because someone told you to. Uh, this means clearly you have good friends, but hopefully your reasons fit one of the previously mentioned categories uh, to allow you to have that information and kind of that self-looking at your soil as a way to improve your overall crop health.